Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is graphing inequalities, sketching, finding regions, all of that good stuff. Okay, let's get into it. Um, first quick question here is to write down the integer values that, um, that satisfy this inequality. So it can't be minus 2 because it's not equal to minus 2. So it's minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and it can equal 4. Okay, into the graphing. So it says write down three inequalities that define region R. Okay, so luckily we've got all three of the um, of the lines, and we're going to start with uh, this one here. Y equals six, and the region is below that line, so we write Y is less than six, like that. Then let's go for um, this one here. And because the region is above the yellow line, we write y is greater than x minus 3. And this one, I'm just going to rearrange so it's x equals, uh, sorry, y equals. So that's y is equal to minus x from both sides, so it's minus x plus 5. And that makes sense, it's got a negative gradient coming down. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so now what I need to do is uh, think to myself, well, is the region below or above the pink line? Well, it's clearly above the pink line, so therefore I write that y is greater than minus x plus 5. Okay, next question, and we have to um, draw our own lines on and then work out our region. And we've got a grid here. Okay, I'll just zoom in a little bit so I can see the whole question. There we go, lovely. So first line I need to draw is y equals 5. The y equals lines are horizontal lines. So I'll write there that y equals 5. The next one is y equals 2x plus 1. That has a y-intercept of two of 1, sorry, and a gradient of 2. So for every 1 I go along, I go up 2. 1 along, up 2. 1 along, up 2 just like this, and then I'll connect those up using a ruler, which I don't have, and I'll write y equals 2x plus 1. And this one's a bit trickier. Um, we can rearrange it, though, so that y is the subject, and that's going to give you minus x plus 10. So this has an intercept of 10 and a gradient of minus 1. So from 1 you go along, you go down 1. So it's going to look like this. And then I'll draw a straight line with a ruler connecting them up. And, I mean, 90% 90, 90, 90 of the time the region is going to be right there in the middle. But let's just double check to make sure. Okay, so it's got to be greater than 5, so it's got to be above... Um, uh, y equals 5 line, so I can um, um, I can get rid of everything it won't be by shading below. Let's do it like that. And here, y has got to be less than 2x plus 1, so it's got to be below this line, so I will get rid of everything above the line. And the last one, y is less than x minus x plus 10, so everything above this line needs to disappear. I'm not going to use that. And you can see what's left over is in the middle, this region, which is our region, which we're going to label R. Perfect. Okay, next question. It asks us to, um, uh, to write down the three inequalities that define the shaded region. Okay, so once again, I need to... Uh, work out these lines first and this vertical line here that goes through minus one well all vertical lines are x equals so this is x equals minus one and then we have this line coming down here which has an intercept of plus four and it also has a gradient of one because for every um, one you go along you go down one so therefore it's got minus one gradient 
So that is our equation. Okay, so I've got my three equations and now I've got to figure out which way to put the inequality signs. Well, the area is to the right of this x equals minus one line. So we're gonna get that x is going to be greater than minus one. Um, this line here, which we've just created, we want the region to be below the line. So we're gonna write y is less than minus x plus four. And this line, which is given to us already, we want it to be above that line. So we're gonna write y is greater than minus, uh, sorry, a third x minus two. And that's it. Okay, next uh, question we have that these two lines are given to us and it's asked us to work out the solution of this simultaneous equation. Okay, it's only a one mark question and these two equations relate to these two lines that are drawn on the grid. So the solution where two lines equal each other will be the solution to this set of simultaneous equations, which will be where they meet, which is right here. Three, four, their intersection point. And now we're asked to draw all of these lines on the grid and work out the region. So I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit so I've got a bit more space, so I can see the question and the grid at the same time. Okay, so x needs to be greater than zero. So the x equals zero line is the vertical line here going through x equals zero. And because I want to be greater than that, I'm gonna get rid of all the stuff that's less than that. So let's just get rid of everything we don't want then we should be left with the region in the middle. And again, y has gotta be greater than zero. So the y equals zero line is the horizontal line going across here and we want it to be greater than, so we need to get rid of everything below. Next we have x plus y is greater than four. So let's rearrange that so it's y equals, so it's y is greater than or equal to minus x plus four. That's gonna go through four on the intercept. It's gonna have a gradient of minus one, so it's gonna come down like this. So I could draw it like a straight line like that. And we want the, the y to be greater than or equal to, so we want the stuff that's above that line, so we're gonna get rid of everything below the line. We're not gonna use that. And next we want the uh, light blue line. We want it to be everything which is below the light blue line. So below the light blue line means we're gonna get rid of everything above the light blue line. So get rid of all of that. And this one here, if we rearrange it so that we get y on the left-hand side. And this is the uh, yellow line. So we want it to be less than, it's a less than, so we want everything below. So we need to get rid of everything above. So we get rid of all of this stuff above the yellow line. Okay, so that is our region right in here and I will shade that in pink. Okay, next question says to draw this graph on the axes below between minus one to five. So what I would do, the quickest way is to look at the y-intercept, which is plus four has a gradient of minus two, which means for every one you go along, you go down two. And just keep doing that like a little staircase. And then go back up that way and then draw a line connecting them. It's then asked for us to find the region which is below the line we've just drawn, above the line y equals four, or minus four, sorry and to the right of x is uh, equal to one. So we've drawn it like that, and that will give us this region in here. Uh, 
And here we go. Here's the final question. Uh, I think it's the trickiest one I've seen. And it says, draw this line here. Well, I can show you a different method, uh, which might make this a bit quicker. You can cover up x 4x and say that when x equals 0, that will disappear, which will mean that 3y is equal to 12, so y will equal 4. So y will equal 4 when x equals 0. And then you can cover up this part here and say that when y equals 0, 4x will equal 12, which will mean x will equal 3. So we can draw a point here where x equals 3, y equals 0. We can then join these up using our ruler to form a straight line. That's not a particularly good straight line. Let me try that again. Uh, that's not much better, but sure, we'll take that. And now we've got these inequalities down the bottom. So let's draw these other lines on. So y is equal to minus 3 is a horizontal line across at minus 3. And x equals 4 is a vertical line here at x equals 4. And then we can get rid of all the stuff we don't want. So it says here that y needs to be less than 2x. So the line y equals 2x, which was drawn for us, we want all the stuff less than it. So let's get rid of all the stuff above it. We don't want stuff that side. And the line that we've just drawn, if I were to rearrange that to make 3y the subject then we can see that we want the stuff which is less than, so below the line. So let's get rid of all the stuff above the line. Don't want to use that. And then we have minus 3 we want above the line, so let's get rid of all the stuff below it. And x we want less than 4, so let's get all the stuff which is greater than 4, get rid of all of that stuff to the right. And we'd be very careful that this part here is not included. So it has to be to the left of that line. So when I draw my, when I shade it in, it's going to look like this. Just like that. Lovely. Yeah, that's definitely the trickiest one we've done so far. Okay, right, that's graph inequalities done. Move on to the next topic. Like this video if it was useful. Thank you very much. Bye for now.